don't mind. Men look handsome. Mommy, thank you for having the temporary hockey rink set up on the grounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daddy and I are going to practice. You are so welcome. I like being rich. Uh, Whoa, <laughs> partner. Okay, mommy's rich. Daddy's poor. And you don't have a bean, got it? <laughs> got it. <laughs> okay. Mommy's just having a little fun right now, getting a little carried away, but we don't want our son to grow up being spoiled now, do we? Message received. <laughs> but thank you. We are going to have a terrific time. <laughs> right? Ready? Right. Isn't this just perfect? Yeah. Doesn't get any better than this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mommy, do you want to come play hockey, too? Yeah, that I'd like to see. Hey, I can skate. But I think I'll pass, honey. <laughs> Mommy's not much of a hockey fan. But you and Daddy have fun, okay? Okay. All right, champ, let's do this. Come on. Watch out there. <laughs> what is going on here? I mean, really. Why are you two arguing about my son? Luis, what are you doing back? I forgot the puck. What was going on here? She well, barged in here the like she... to tell me. Right that off. You're... I don't want to hear it. Now listen, I know that you two have been through a lot and you have your differences, but let's get something straight. Do not bring Marty in on your silly arguments. Silly? Yes, silly. So last time I checked, we were all over 21 here, right? Right? Can we at least try and act like adults? Of course, Luis. Okay. I, for one, understand what you're saying, but, um, haven't you forgotten something? Our date? Date. You forgot? Tickets to the hockey game in Boston tonight? Oh, I bought, no. I... Yeah, I bought you tickets before the new year. I mean, they're sold out. And you were so excited about it at the time. You forgot. Fans, fans, I'm sorry. Well, the tickets certainly were a waste of money. Oh, I feel like such a fool. You feel like a fool? I apologize, okay? Uh, Sheridan had this hockey rink set up for Marty, and he was so excited. Now, I was pretty excited, too, for that matter, and we just got caught up in everything, and I forgot. I'm sorry. You said that. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Maybe we can bring Marty, right? We... All right, you only got two tickets. Yes. One for you and one for me. Mm, what a shame. Look, I I'm sorry. I just... I can't go, you, you know? I mean, the hockey rink and... <sighs> you should have seen the way his eyes lit up when he found out what Sheridan had done for him. I'll bet. I can't disappoint him. I, he's my son, and he comes first. I showed up for the hockey game, but I'm still waiting for an explanation for why you ran out on me on New Year's Eve. I didn't run out on you. Luis, I went to the ladies' room for one minute, and when I came back, you were gone without a word. That sounds like running out to me. I left you a note. A note? What, you didn't get the note? No. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, um, I got a call from Sheridan. Marty was crying hysterically, so I dropped everything and ran over here. I, I had to see what was wrong. I see. And was anything wrong? No, uh, not by the time I got here. Well, of course Luis had to leave if Marty needed him. Of course. So I, I, I don't know what happened to the note, okay? Am I forgiven? So the only reason you came up here was because of Marty? Yes, I said that. Then wh what? All right, Louise, I came over to see if you were here, and I looked through the window and saw you with Aunt Sheridan. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You were spying on us? Yes. And there she was, your former lover, in your arms. It looked very cozy, Louise. Try explaining that to me.
<laughs> oh, really? Fancy. Peeping in the windows. What are we, back in boarding school? All right, share in place. Now, look, you should have heard Marty when he called. He was totally beside himself, okay? He needed me to come over here. Okay, but when I looked through the window, I didn't see Marty. Just the two of you in each other's arms. So what? It was nothing. I mean, holding Sheridan meant nothing to me. Fancy, I just happened to be here. I was a convenient pair of arms giving her a hug. That's all. Yeah, I'll bet. I said, that's all. You're always so glib with the explanations. Today, when I remembered the hockey game, I came to find you so we could go, but you weren't home. Where were you? Surprise, surprise, here at Aunt Sheridan's cottage. Yeah, of course I was here, because of Marty. I mean, God, you know, it has been a long time since he has been around anyone who gives a damn about him, okay? So he needed me. He needed to be around someone he knows he can count on. I used to count on you, too. Come on. It's not fair. Look, I'm sorry, I forgot about our date, okay? I make it up to you? Huh? You know what? I'm... I'm tired of this. I have to go. Fancy. Fancy, come on. Fancy. Fancy, what? What, you're gonna walk out on me? Fancy! Fancy! Fancy, come on, come back! Well, that's that. No, it's not that. This is all my fault, and Fancy has a right to be upset. No. No, she doesn't. You have a child, Luis. Okay, you have a son. And he comes first. Everyone knows that. Except Fancy. And some women just can't bear to share a man with a child. Just stop. Okay? Now listen to me, because there's something that you need to understand. I love Fancy. And she is the only woman in my heart, now and forever. Sheridan, <clears throat> I know that you were hoping that we would get back together. But what we had is gone. I love Fancy now. Fancy who, who just walked out on you. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Now listen. If Fancy refuses to accept that our relationship has changed, that there is a third person involved now, if she fails to share me with Marty, then I do not see much of a future for us. Which is a shame, because I thought that she was going to be the perfect stepmother. Oh, uh, buddy, I'm so sorry. I'm going to get it for you right now, okay? Uh, wait. Um, okay, before you go, I need to talk to you, Luis, and Marty, too. Well, look what the cat dragged in. What are you doing here? I wouldn't interrupt if it wasn't important. Marty, I have to say something to your father. I love you, Luis. I don't want you to ever have to choose between me and your son. You mean that? Of course I do. We're a team. You, me, and Marty, I'll always be a part of your lives. She sure is pretty, isn't she, Mommy? Uh, Marty, don't interrupt your elders. Thank you, Marty. I think we're going to be great friends. I hope so. So glad you came back. I never left, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you came back. Hey, let's just forget about New Year's, okay? Mm hmm Okay. So what do you want to talk to us about? Well, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who made a call. And look what I have. Three tickets to the Bruins hockey game tonight in Boston. Whoa! Whoa Bruins tickets again! Oh. 
Oh. Town. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I could only get one extra ticket. I'm sure. Mm. Mm. Marty, what do you say? Your dad and I are going to take you to a hockey game tonight. What do you think about that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I love the Bruins. Mm. You're the best. You know that? I try. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that, buddy? Huh? We're going to see the Bruins. I'm so sorry. Yes. <laughs> and it gets better, Marty. I have all sorts of plans for the three of us. Mm. I bet you do. What was that? Marty, sweetheart, what do you say? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love hockey. Maybe we'll see blood on the ice. Marty! <laughs> I love seeing him so excited. Let's go, let's go. All right, all right, hold on a second, okay? Because according to my calculations, we actually still have some time to play some hockey ourselves. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Yeah. All right, all right, come on, go get your stuff. You're terrific. Do you know that? I have not seen him this excited since he came home. Hey, who are the Bruins playing tonight, anyway? Dad. The Rangers, don't you know anything? If they kill them tonight. I know who I'd like to see killed. 